I believe everyone is familiar with TensorEarth's online model training. Today, I will teach you how to train the video model Laura in TensorEarth. There will be a new version of the image model training tutorial soon. Follow me to get the information as soon as possible. Now let's start the tutorial. The tutorial is quite long. You can adjust the viewing progress according to your needs. Let's first introduce the more complex text to video model training. First find the entrance to the training model, and then switch to video model training. Then upload the training set. The platform supports uploading images and videos for training. Compressed files are also supported, but must not contain nested directories. After uploading an image or video, tagging will be performed automatically. You can click on the image or video to manually edit or modify the tags. If you wish to preserve certain features of a character during training, consider removing the corresponding descriptive prompt words for those features. No AI-based auto-labeling system can guarantee 100% accuracy. Whenever possible, manually review and filter the dataset to eliminate incorrect labels. This process helps improve the overall quality of the model. Currently, batch tagging of images is supported. You can choose to add tags either at the beginning or at the end of the prompt. Typically, tags are added to the beginning of the prompt to serve as trigger words. Then, we need to set the training parameters. It is recommended to use the default parameters directly because of complexity of video training parameters and their significant impact on the results. Among them, repeat refers to the number of times the AI learns from each individual image. And epic means an epic refers to one complete cycle in which the AI learns from your images. After all images have gone through the specified number of repeats, it counts as one epic. This parameter should only be applied to image assets in the training set and does not affect the training of video assets. Target frames means specifies the length of the consecutive frame sequence to be extracted determines how many frames each video segment contains and works in conjunction with the total number of segments used. And frame sample means indicates the number of samples to be uniformly sampled. It determines how many starting positions will be evenly extracted from the entire video and should be used in conjunction with the number of frames per clip. This parameter should only be applied to video materials in the training set and should not affect the training of image materials. Next, I will give you an example to tell you what they are. Suppose you have a video with 100 frames and you set clip frame count equals 16 and total number of clips equals 3. The system will evenly select 3 starting points within the video for example, frame 0, frame 42, and frame 84. From each of these starting positions, it will extract 16 consecutive frames, resulting in 3 video clips, each consisting of 16 frames. This design allows for the extraction of multiple representative segments from a long video, rather than relying solely on the beginning or end of the video. Target words are special keywords or phrases used to activate or guide the behavior of the model, helping it generate results that more closely align with the content of the training dataset. After each epic of model training, a preview video will be generated based on this prompt. If you want to use a professional mode, here are the relevant parameters. Selecting the value of save one every n rounds only affects the number of final epic results. It is recommended to set it to one. Unit learning rate controls how quickly and effectively the model learns during training. LR scheduler. The scheduler defines how the learning rate changes during training. It is a core component responsible for assigning tasks to the appropriate nodes. LR Scheduler Num Cycles specifies the number of times the scheduler, such as the constant scheduler, restarts within a given period or under specific conditions. This parameter is an important metric for evaluating the stability of the learning rate scheduler. Num Warm Up Steps This parameter defines the number of training steps during which the learning rate gradually increases from a small initial value to the target learning rate. This process is known as learning rate warm up. The purpose of warm up is to improve training stability in the early stages by preventing abrupt changes in model parameters that can occur if the learning rate is too high at the beginning. Network dim. Dim refers to the dimensionality of the neural network. A higher dimensionality increases the model's capacity to represent complex patterns, but it also results in a larger overall model size. Network alpha. This parameter controls the apparent strength of the LoRa weights during training. While the actual LoRa weights retain their full magnitude, Network Alpha applies a constant scaling factor to weaken the weights during training. This makes the weights appear smaller throughout the training process. 
The scaling factor used for this weakening is referred to as network alpha. The smaller the network alpha value, the larger the weight values saved in the LoRa neural network. The last one is gradient accumulation steps, refers to the number of mini batches accumulated before performing a single model parameter update. Since each machine can only run one model training task at a time, there may be instances where you need to wait in a queue. Our team will do our best to prepare a training machine for you as soon as possible. Pro members enjoy priority access, significantly reducing wait times. After training is complete, each saved epic will generate a test result based on the preview settings. You can use these results to select the most suitable epic to either publish the model with one click or download it locally. You can also click the top right corner to perform a second round of image generation. If you're not satisfied with the training results, you can retrain using the same training dataset. This is the whole process of text-to-video model training. Image-to-video model training is much simpler. Most of these LoRa's are characters and styles. When training character LoRa's, default settings are sufficient. Training dataset suggestion. 8 to 20 training images are recommended. Ensure diversity in the training samples. Using training data with uniform types or resolutions can weaken the model's ability to learn the character concept effectively. Potentially leading to loss of character features and concept forgetting. When labeling, use the name and natural language feature description LaBe. Training style LoRa. You can moderately increase the number of repeats per image and the number of training epics based on the size of your training dataset. Training dataset recommendations. Use high resolution training samples. All in a consistent style. Try to include samples of varying dimensions. It is recommended to use the default parameters, which will almost never go wrong. The training dataset for the video model is recommended to be a 4.5 S5 self video. Training a video LoRa differs significantly from training an image LoRa. While image LoRa's often focus on learning visual style or character appearance, video LoRa's primarily aim to capture temporal coherence between frames in order to achieve specific motion-related effects. The focus is less on learning character styles and more on modeling complex changes such as motion, deformation, and other dynamic transformations across time. Due to the temporal dimension unique to video data, Video training requires significantly more GPU memory and computational steps to effectively process sequence information. The more frames input into the model, the longer and more demanding the sequence becomes in terms of processing. If you want to use mixed training with pictures and videos, that is also possible. Image video joint training is designed for domain-specific tasks that require a small number of samples to adapt to highly specialized scenarios. Use natural language annotations, along with a small-scale dataset composed of one video clip no longer than 5 seconds, 10 to 20 related image samples. If you have any questions, you can leave a message in the comment area, and I will answer them for you. Remember to follow me to get more tutorials.